What's up everybody, Chris Cano here with Cano Films. Today I'm gonna to be doing a product review on the Arison ERGP80 projector. This thing is supposed to be more amazing than the ERGP70 model that I bought last year. Now, as you know me, I do a lot of fun stuff during the Halloween season for all the trick-or-treaters. I do a lot of projection. And I did a review last year, if you guys remember, on this little guy and it was amazing. So I am super excited about the new model. One thing they were supposed to fix in this was the noise that it made. This one, this older model made not too much noise, I mean a little bit, but uh, this one's supposed to be even, even less than that, which I'm super excited about, and I hope that the image quality is gonna be just as great, because that thing's awesome as well. So guys, this is my product review of the Arison ERGP80. And again, if you guys know me, I like to get creative. And what I've always wanted to do this time is I wanted to put a projector up in my bedroom because at night I have a small 32 inch flat screen in there. So what I also want to do, I'm a classic video game guy. I'm going to hook up this old school Nintendo and see if this projector is capable of hooking up to this old school machine uh, so I can play my nostalgic games on my projector in my bedroom from the comfort of my own bed. I think that would be so awesome. And of course, I can hook up um, HDMI to it so I can watch DVDs and all that fun stuff and even stream to it, Netflix, whatever. Uh, so let's take a look at it real quick and I'll give you guys an example of what it looks like. Let's see if it, if it holds up. Now let's take a look at this projector. As you can see, it's small and portable, but if it's anything like the last model, it should be very powerful. If we take a look at the back here, we've got our audio out, our audio video input, and it also comes with these RCA cables, so hopefully this will work for my Nintendo. We've got our USB 1 and 2 here. You can plug your USB device right in and load up films. We've also got our HDMI input here, our VGA, and of course your DCN, your power port. If we take a look at the top here, we've got all these buttons, which are basically just the buttons for your volume, menus, and sources and stuff like that. But what I really love is this remote. This remote control is new and improved in my opinion. It's got some great options on here. It's very simplistic, not too many buttons. It's got these flip buttons, rotate buttons, volume, and it works great. Now on the older model, the Android ERGP70, the focus adjustments were on the top. On this model, they are conveniently located on the side, which I actually like a lot. Now this little bad boy right here is supposed to project up to 120 inches in dynamic range. I'm super stoked about this, and honestly, I cannot wait to see if this puppy will hook up to it. I don't see why not. It's got the RCA cables. Let's get to it. I've already got my ceiling mount installed. All I gotta do is connect this baby and turn her on. What you're looking at here is my homemade theater screen, which you can make at home as well. All I made it out of was a shower curtain and some black felt tape. Now all we have to do left is turn it on. Looky there, we've got Mario. I'm gonna go and turn up the light here so you can see it in its full color. Oh my gosh. Audio's great. Um, the first thing I actually noticed is the fan noise is so much lower than the last one. And the internal speaker is what I expected. I mean, it's, it's as good as an internal speaker in one of these things can get. It's great. Uh, what I plan on doing is definitely hooking up an external speaker to this, which is so easy to do with that output there on the back. This is so cool. I cannot believe I'm playing the Mario Brothers on this huge screen in my bedroom right now. Oh my gosh, like my wife and kids are gonna love this when they found out that I've, I've done this. This is great. I just think this is so cool that I'm playing Mario Brothers right now in my bed on a huge screen and uh, everything just looks great. It's, it's awesome. And uh, I knew it was gonna look great because of the projector I bought last year, the older model. So I would say quality wise, it's just as good, if not a little bit better than the, the ERGP70 version. Um, again, the first thing I noticed is it's not very loud at all. Um, so that's awesome, Arison. Thanks for doing that. Um, which is awesome for the bedroom because honestly, um, the, the 70 model 
it's great for the projection when I do it for Halloween because you know the 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 fan noise isn't going to bother me. But since this is in my bedroom now, I can watch movies in here, play games, and that noise is not going to affect me. Or if my wife's wanting to go to bed and I'm wanting to watch a movie, it's not going to wake keep her awake or anything like that. So it's just great. Um, honestly, I give this thing a ten out of a ten. Um, the price is amazing. They make a really good product. This is my second I, again my second uh, projector that I purchased through Arison. And I'm so glad I found them on Amazon. Um, the price is amazing. Again, it's not like some $4,000 projector, but for the price, you cannot go wrong. Especially, it's portable. This thing's awesome for, uh, I'm already thinking about taking this thing on the road with me when we go on vacation here in a few weeks. Um, we can project it on, on a wall. I mean, you can even get close to a wall and do like, you know, like a 32 inch projection and get it focused real tight too. So like, it doesn't have to be on something huge. It's portable. Again, it can plug in easy and just go with you anywhere. I love this projector. Guys, I'm getting back to some Mario here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Canoe Films. We'll see you next time.